Hey everyone, welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited for this one. So I know you all are going to love this one because it's going to be hopefully really enlightening as to the different methods that we choose when it comes to tomatoes and, and, uh, and how, we, how we trellis them. This has been a big, big topic over on Facebook because we just posted a live stream. If you're not following us over on Facebook, you probably should because we do a lot of live streams over there. And uh, one of the ones we did a live stream on was when Mrs. Emma Gardner went through and single stemmed our tomatoes. Now, it caused a, a big uproar because a lot of times we say we don't, we don't prefer to single stem our tomatoes because uh, it, all of those leaves is energy that the plant will use to produce flowers and fruit. However, um, I am allowed to change my, my thought on this. And, uh, and so in the past, that's been my kind of my, my, what I stood by. Uh, my method of choice was to just let them sprawl. And as you know, we used the Florida weave method. We still do use the Florida weave method. However, um, as someone that, I mean, I love growing tomatoes. I love growing all different varieties of tomatoes. And I like seeing how much I can produce in a given amount of space. And what I've learned is that depending on how closely your plants are planted, single stemming might be a better option than letting them sprawl. At the cottage, we planted, we spaced them very far apart and we use a Florida weave method because we go up there so, so infrequently that a lot of times it becomes a rather sprawling mess. And so the, the constant maintenance that's required is, is not, I can't really give them the attention that they deserve, let's put it that way. And so because we are so infrequent at visiting the cottage garden, um, I will use the Florida weave method because it allows us to just hold up the entire plant and the entire plant can just kind of do its own thing. Whereas with single stemming, it very much is a, it, it's, it is high intensity, man, you're always working. And so since there's so little work to do in the garden and the garden is only a hundred feet from our door, it really makes so much sense to single stem because it allows us to put our plants closer together, meaning you can get more productivity out of your beds. Now, uh, I, I'm going to get this on the, other, <laughs> on the other side saying, well, Luke, you said if you don't prune your tomatoes and you let them grow all wild, you'll have uh, a, lot more, a lot more production than if you were to single stem. This is true. If your plant is allowed to just go crazy, it's going to produce a lot of fruit and it's going to put a lot of energy into growing as well as fruiting. So you're going to have naturally uh, more fruit, but the, uh, the size of the fruit will be less. And so if you're someone that likes growing larger tomatoes, single stemming will give you much larger tomatoes. And so I'm a type of person, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, like, I like lots of different methods. So at the cottage, we're implementing the Florida weave no prune method. And here we're implementing the uh, the furring strip stakes, single stemming style. So um, it just it very it very much proves that you can uh, you can have you can have it both ways. It just deter it just will determine how closely you can plant things and the methods that you'll implement. Now another thing I forgot to mention was the fact that the varieties that you're growing will also determine if you single stem or not. If you're growing determinant varieties, which are plants that will fruit all at once, and then stop fruiting basically you want to promote as much growth as possible if you're growing indeterminate varieties they will grow until basically until they can't grow anymore because of weather conditions and so those are varieties that you would like to single stem because you can afford to make them as tall as they can grow that's why with the furring strips most most of the plants here i think uh all of well only one our ace 55 tomato is the only one that's a determinant, but we're still using the stakes just to hold them up. But uh, the rest of them are indeterminate, meaning they will continue growing as high as possible. And that's where the eight foot furring strips really, <laughs> really become very handy because at the cottage garden where we grew mostly determinant variety tomatoes, they would only get about four, maybe five feet tall at most, at most. So having an eight foot, fall, eight foot tall turn eight foot tall furring strip <laughs> really was very it was it was very wasteful 
on that. And so what often, before we, uh, before we discovered the Florida weave, is we would just cut the furring strips in half. Um, and then the Florida weave came around, um, came into my radar and I'm like, holy cow, this is way easier, way better. So, uh, so then we adopted that method up there. And, and this method, it, that's, why we, that's why we do that, is um, because here we have a lot of indeterminate varieties that will just grow and grow and grow. So uh, let's go check out the tomatoes. And uh, I, think, I think I did find a few, so let's go. So single stemming tomatoes is really simple. It oftentimes gets uh, turned into a, a very, uh, I guess, confusing topic that really does not have to be. We do a, a couple things. The first thing we do is we come in here and we find the main growth stem. The main growth stem is very easy because you can follow it all the way up the plant. And as it goes up the plant, you simply take off any side growth that's not leaves because those are suckers. Those are essentially new plants. Those are plants that if you let them go, they will produce basically all new plants, even though it's not really a new plant because they're on an existing mother plant. They'll just become a fruiting uh, growth point. So. As you can see, we have our main stem going up from the ground, and you have all these different leaf, leafing joints here that have been cut off. What we'll do is we'll come through here and we'll remove all of this lower growth up until the first set of fruit. So coming through here, coming through here, we'll remove all of these, and then you have your first set of fruit being your basically your, your leaf pruning point. So any leaves above this point can stay, any leaves below this point need to go because that reduces, that increases airflow and reduces disease. And then coming up here, you have a place in which it splits and we did not catch the split in time, but did fruit. This is perfectly fine with single stemming because what we've done is we've simply taken this, this growth point, said, nope, you're done growing. And We've kept all the flowers here that were formed, meaning we'll have all the production from this split here without any more extra growth. So those tomatoes will just simply grow here. Um, and then over here, you'll notice you follow the stem up and you see a leaf. And in between the leaf and the main growing stem, you have a 45 degree angle. And this is a sucker. And so we wanna come through here and simply bend it and they break off very, very easily. You're coming up here, you have another little one right there. Come through here, pinch that off. And so that is single stemming. Basically, as the name implies, it's a single stem. And then we'll come through here and we will tie up these plants. As we, I said, we just did this. So we just put in these furring strips here. So we'll come through here and we'll tie up all the plants with some nylon strip, which will be for another episode. I'll show you how we prepare nylon strip to tie up all the tomatoes. It's a very, very easy method and you guys are gonna love it. So there you go, there is a simplified version of how we are uh, trellising or staking our tomatoes up this year for the home garden and how we single stem. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it was a wealth of information for you and hopefully you learned something new. So as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home and uh, we'll talk to you later. See ya, bye.